It's been a nigga been against a white boy, homie. He talking. All that. my crimes have been predicated toward white people. I don't always agree with everything. Everything you say, I've but... ever done wrong in life, homie, was always toward white people and other races. It's never been toward my people. I didn't yeah, sell dope in the black community. I didn't gang bang and shoot up neighbor houses. I didn't do none of that, my nigga. None of that. I served time as a kid, seven years, was standing over white men and watching them die, giving my 16 year old friend a gun and encouraging him to shoot that motherfucker. Laughed about it, my nigga. Was taught it. But look, but before before we end this topic, right? Cause I just want I want you to get your message across. Yeah, I don't want to confuse I'm nobody. I don't, I don't really, I don't this, my so, but look, one minute you say Dion did what he was supposed to do, and then you go back and say, "Fuck him." I hope his kid get injured. Yeah. I never liked him. Turf toe. So which one is it? It's like, uh, well, this is still football and sport, <laughs> right? This is nigga. I, I this over. Dion did what any man and father was supposed to do with a family. Go where the money go. That don't stop me from not liking him, cause I respect his decision. It's still fuck him, nigga. Turf toe motherfucker cop. Plenty of money during the cow for a plenty like he just did not homie. Oh. Dion is it ain't a hero to me. He a hero to y'all. Because y'all grew up watching sports. I grew up in a boys' home, nigga, with murder cases. The books I was reading, them nigga were watching sports. I was reading books, revolutionary books. The hell the, I was reading revolutionary books, homie. Black literature. Got niggas write me. So I'm a, a I'm a product of a revolutionary kid, homie. Black Panther Party books. That's why when they presented the game banging shit to me, it was so appealing. Community revolution in progress. Mm. Y'all gotta understand they where people be coming tripping, from or they how they, from. Uh, So that's why it was so appealing. Because it came with a revolutionary aspect. Nigga, any sports don't revolutionize my mind. I'm not entertained watching sports. I'm not finna sit there and watch all four. Nothing like that, homie. So it's, yeah, fuck Dion. And if you're playing football, hurt him. Let me go to a little league football game. I'm always whispering in a little nigga. I'm trying to hurt him, trying to break his leg. I you did don't. say that. Wait, you did say that, too, in your viral video. You said you feel like more people should uh, support um, coaches in their own cities. You know, even Little League. Oh, but you know, oh, but you know, uh, even the high school sports in some cities and states is big because they support it. Wow. This first year, we've never seen nothing like this. Black people all of a sudden tune into this one cottage. What about all these HBCUs that went in? If we go over, I ain't gonna look too. So I'm saying somebody who has a light, why not take your light over here and shine it? <clears throat> when I went to uh, Pas Pascagoula, Mississippi, I went to Moss Point High School. Moss Point High School got one of the best bands in the country. Nigga, I want to shine my light. The football team went viral. So why not go shine y'all light on these HBCUs like y'all shining this big bright light on Colorado? If, if we rotate it once a month, just fire the school, do a new school once a month for one year. Look how much money it could generate. One weekend, 18 million? It goes to the alumni. I just want people to remember this, homie. 99% predominantly white school. Made some millions off his, his shades, too. 99% predominantly white school. Dion is benefiting great. Black people is losing horribly still. Mainly HBCU. And shout out to President Trump for giving HBCUs more money than they have ever been given before. But we go support a coach who walk away from them? but not a president who ensures that they get more money than they've ever been given before in the history of their doors being open. We got to be mm. oxymorons as black people. <laughs> I swear. I swear, homie. That's He's why I oxymoron. come with this nigga narrative because I don't want to be associated with black people, my nigga. 
I want them ignorant niggas where I go to these motherfucking clubs at and perform. I don't want Live Nation money. I, I want I want the Chitlin Circuit money. I want the Negro League. I want the Black Wall Street money, the Rosewood money. You know why? Because those people spend more money than anybody on earth. And if you give them what they like or if you give them what they don't like, they spend money on both. Speaking of the speaking of the Chitlin Circuit, uh, I want to get to the T. We did the TK interview. That did damn near a million views. Uh, he spoke out after that. Showed you a lot of love, too. He never disrespected you. You never disrespected him. You just said what really happened. Yeah. What's that like now? Uh, I finally got one Live Nation chick from the, from, from the first show to Las Vegas. I just got that the other day. So I still ain't been paid all my money. Uh, he been calling. Uh, I don't want to talk, nigga. I ain't been paid all my money. Uh, he saw that I bought my, I purchased a, a, a necklace for my daughter for her birthday. Uh, he reached out to my jeweler, uh, somebody he's been in contact with, doing business with. Uh, he reached out to my jeweler, KD the jeweler, uh, and offered to pay for my, for my daughter's necklace. That was nice. He ain't paid for it. Look at that be talking. Yeah, he ain't paid for it. <laughs> and I'm a nice little person. Yeah, he ain't, so niggas that be talking. But I see him bragging about he done got a live nation chick. Oh, uh, I seen him say do interviews or uh, ask or uh, tell Charles and Dubai to send me that cash out. Uh, he got my cash out from the two hundred fifty dollars he cashed out me for them five uh, shows. Oh, uh, I've met I've met other legendary comedians. Uh, in this game. Oh, uh, and they all said when they watched this interview, they knew he was fucking over, because he keep emphasizing. Uh, that I have to pay my dues. And 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 one 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 legend in particular. Uh, not that they said anything toward T.K. Kirkland. Uh, Mr. Shucky Ducky, uh, came in one of my most recent shows, and said, "With this kind of power you have, because you're an interesting person, you're very interesting. You don't have to be funny. You put asses in seats, and that's proven." People come out to see you because you're interesting mm. and you're very interesting. And that's all that matters. Man. And that's what the old comics are forgetting. Man. He can put asses in seats. He don't have to be funny. Oh, I just want people to take note that I'm still doing shows. You don't see Live Nation tour, do you? I leave it at that. It looked like Live Nation was hating on you, and then T.K. Kirkland was fighting to from get his, you from, on that from, tour. From his story, point of view of mine. Uh, I think basically some of the text message you showed, and then shit that he said was like, you had some bad shows, but he still begged them to uh, keep you I, on the tour. I never had no bad show. I never had not one bad show. When you heard Sancho, Sancho said, man, that nigga killed it. Sancho said, I didn't even know Sancho and his wife was at the show. That nigga went on Corey Oakham and said he killed it. TK lying. I never had no bad show. I had an incident in Houston surrounding the Jay Prince and takeoff situation with weapons. No bad show. I quit after that show. Live, Na I, Live Nation wasn't hating on me. Everything was going good. I wasn't getting paid. Nigga, Lion Nation wasn't hate. We're not going to do Lion Nation like that. TK was playing on a nigga. Saying it's Lion Nation, Lion Nation. One night, Miami, Lion Nation executive is in the audience. I thought I had a horrible show. Lion Nation said it was great. Guess what? It was my weapons and props. TK come back and said, man, just bitch, don't use the weapons, man. It make you look like you're amateur, like you don't know what you're doing. Clock down, my nigga. They, they, they just no Christ. <laughs> but you they told me my nation dude. loved it. He just can't stop Why are you saying don't do them? Same in Las Vegas. Uh, what am I missing here? I killed it in Las Vegas. When we get to San Diego, he said, hey, man, try not to try not to be funny tonight. It's why Why do you say that? You said that last interview. I, I meant to ask I you that. I don't know what made those niggas say that. <laughs> well, our spirit told me this nigga fucking over me when he said that. My uh, crew, Drew Barry, everybody get mad because they heard him say it. I don't know why he said it. You know what Sancho, Sancho done said? 
I was making him look bad because he tell the same joke every night, night after night. All of my shit don't lie. I, don't, I ain't told the same shit yet. I don't do the same shit. I got a show right now and they record a whole album. T.K. Kirkland said I can't do an album. Nigga, I done done an hour 30 sometimes, kidding me. So Live Nation wasn't causing no problem only. T.K. Kirkland was being intimidated by the, what I was bringing. He kept trying to dim the light. Try not to be funny. Don't bring the weapon. But he telling me, Live Nation saying don't bring the weapon. But I thought they loved it, my nigga. T so, so TK is saying, can't nobody come backstage. You know how I know? Because Live Nation is saying the approval is coming from TK, who can come back here. It's his show. TK hmm. is saying this. Because in my mind, TK fuck with all the gang baggy niggas who can get, come on, homie. You will isolate me by myself, my nigga. I can't get no B-roll footage behind the stage of my show. I can't take no pictures. My grandmother can't come backstage. Live Nation ain't saying that, my nigga. Because Live Nation and the venues are saying we have to get TK's permission to get where we can come back here. Come on, my 83 year in my own city? You lying, my nigga. I quit before the Dallas show. I quit. I sent a message to him at One Live Nation. I quit. But I finished out the rest of the show, even though I hadn't been paid. I didn't come online and say, man, for, I, nigga, I finished out the rest of the show, even though I hadn't been paid. You know, even, even though I hadn't been paid. So, no, man, uh, I was as professional as I could be, but I was watching that nigga fuck me on I can't sell my merch. Part of the agreement was I sell my merch. Come on, homie. He lied. So I've never seen a comedian at his stature go try to do so many interviews. I quit talking about it, homie. I did the one interview with you that I hadn't talked about it since. When I done the Dan's the Project interview, he saw me and Brittany Renner was gonna be there. He reached out to the Dan's the Project to try to do an interview to come tell his side of the story. Out of respect Shit. for what, you know, my relationship with Danza. Man, come on, homie, nah. What do you want to interview for? Who called and say, can I interview and come talk about this? So, no, nah, homie, that nigga, uh, it, if you know T. Kirkland, you know I ain't lying. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't know him, uh, you'll, you'll be on, you'll be straddled the fence. But if you know T.K. Kirkland, uh, or if you know Charleston White, you know I ain't gonna rush it in and lie. What's wrong with the Chitlin Circuit? Because he kind of made comments about basically you'll be on the Chitlin Circuit forever. That's not what oh, that's money ten, is. Nigga, that's $10,000 ten, that's ten, a night on the Chitlin Circuit. Uh, I want to stay in the Chitlin Circuit because that's what make everybody. And if you want and, and, and want to sustain them niggas and they are in comedian name, they have to come back to the Chitlin Circuit. Everybody got to come back to the chitlin circuit, nigga. Little baby now, little duck, everybody got to come back to the chitlin circuit because that's who your base is. That's the base and the core of your fan group. So why wouldn't you rest on them and they love you? Those are the people who buy your T-shirt. Them the motherfuckers stand in line. So why would why wouldn't you want to stay there and be able to watch them people off? So. He just saying that to try to shame a nigga. And I'm telling niggas, ain't nothing wrong with the children's circuit, nigga. Our ancestors got us here off this shit. And everybody run back down here eventually. So why not just stay down here? I run up there, but nigga, I come back down here. I run up there, but nigga, I come back down here. Absolutely. Do you feel like, uh, it's, it's crazy I'm mentioning this now because, uh, Jeezy and his wife divorced after two years. Um, Tiana Taylor and Iman Shepard, they, they divorced. Well, they split up. Um, Pat Poos and, and, and Remy Ma, they, re, they reportedly, he, he held her down for six years while she was locked up. She, she's reportedly 
messing with a younger battle rapper right now. Is real love, is, is, is that a thing of the past? Because of, you know, it's so easy to get women now. It's so easy on the internet. It is. Because I see the nigga with a bunch of dudes. If it's that easy to get women, I see the nigga with a bunch of dudes all the time. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, love still exists. Uh, nothing new is up under the sun, homie. It's just that, it's just that the people before was more loyal and committed and got past what they felt. This is a feel, this is a, this is a emotionally responsive group of humans. They think what they feel makes them right. You have a right to your feelings, but your feelings don't make you right. So, so, so most people process their reason and their logic from their emotions, not from facts and what's true. Motherfucker base what they think is logical and reason from what they feel. And no intelligent person does that. No intelligent person does that. They let they finish the side and then start to try to think. You gotta feel, you gotta think past what you feel. So, man, most niggas know they done cheated too. Man, ain't no, ain't now nigga, you can't make me believe. Well, yeah, yeah, I can't, I ain't gonna say that. I got a pot, <laughs> I, well, I, I had to think. I got a partner named BC. I hope you God rest his soul. He was just murdered. Homie, when that nigga was, his girl was in jail. N- nigga, we used to strip club every night. And I was trying to get that nigga to cheat. God damn, a nigga. And he wouldn't do it. So there's some men out there, homie. Uh, they refuse to cheat. They 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 won't cheat. Uh, they they. I'm a man who have a desire not to do it. I, I, I've done it. I have a desire not to do it. But there is some niggas that have the desire in the actions that don't do it, right? So when you look at what he did for her, uh, we don't know the extent of their relationship for her to go get that young nigga dick. And that young nigga dick can be good, too, now. Did that nigga be on them dreads, fuck along with it now? <laughs> Got some tricks we can't do. Suck ass, eat, push through all kind of shit. So, nigga, we might be boring after so long. And that young dick thrilling and appealing for that feeling. So, chill, nigga. Yeah, they might get back together. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, Jeezy in the Chinese bro. Oh, uh, nigga in Sioux Falls, they never got along. <laughs> they ain't never got along. All they can do is fuck. All they can do is fuck because what we're released today <laughs> is that, that they separating because of cultural differences. Yeah. Oh, uh, my mother, my, my mother told me, she said, when you have children outside your race, it confuses the, the kid. They don't know which way to go. They don't know which way to go. It By the way. The kid. So, Thanks. baby, go over here and be Vietnamese. Come over here and get called little motherfucker. Come on, man. Yeah, so, oh. Let's see Inch with his own kind. But we don't know that, only Because we get caught up in our feelings. Oh. We don't know each with his own kind. I mean, but when you see all these separations, it kind of makes you, especially when you're, when you're, when, when marriage comes up, it's like, damn, is, is marriage really a waste of time? No, hell no. Homie, every nigga, relationships do it. <laughs> Mama and son do it. Daddy and son break up. Brother and brother break up. Brother and sister break up. Cousin and cousin break up. Coworker and coworker break up. Why wouldn't you think you would get into it in your, in your marriage? Dog and the human break up. Nigga, bad at the dog. Be mean to the dog for two weeks. <laughs> I'm guilty. Yeah. <laughs> Let me mean in the mouth, to the dog for CW two weeks. CW can't distract me, boy. Trust white, boy. Yes, 
you you have that was funny, though. you have trials and tribulations. It's been some real stuff. Life. Some stuff out. He be going crazy. He go off the rails sometimes. Like he say he say things. He just say stuff. You know what I mean? Everything. He just say be say he be. be oh, y'all the ones that put him here. Be mad at somebody you y'all paying attention to. How you gonna be mad at something? You gotta pay attention to something to be mad at it. Oh, she. You're bad. You're bad. We can catch that later, though. Let me get to 400 real quick. 